I have this pine board that I picked up at Lowe's. It is four feet high, 10 inches wide, and I'm starting by painting it black. Once dry, I then added smoky quartz, which is a nice soft gray. I'm not really concerned about full coverage as I do want the black to peek through and give it a vintage look. Once that was dry, I took a sandpaper and gave it a good sanding to expose some of that black. I picked up the stencil at Hobby Lobby. It's home. It's uh, very similar to the welcome one that we use. I felt like it was about the same size, but I decided to cover the, um, the little leaves at the top and the bottom and also the circular O wreath in the center. Taking a two inch foam roller from Lowe's and making sure that you load and unload with some black paint, you wanna load and unload and just take your time getting the black paint on the stencil. This may require you to uh, direct your roller in different angles as you don't wanna press down and cause bleed through. And then you wanna release your stencil. Now the E was already connected, so I decided to connect the M and the H using an art brush. And then once this dried, I took my one hour enamel and my S50 Klingon and gave one coat and then allowed that to dry. Once completely dry, I took my Farm Life by Redesign by Prima, and it has four panels. They have a horse, a pig, uh, the rooster, and some cows. I decided to go with one panel that had the rooster, and I feel like you could probably do one board per panel. So you could get four panels, four welcome or home boards out of this particular transfer. And this could be found at chalkitupfancy.com. But I wanted to start by using this uh, triangular stencil that I have. It's a distressed triangle pattern. I believe this is in our Amazon store at chalkitupfancy.com. And using Cleopatra Gold by Wise Owl, This is our heavy metal paint and a large foam dabber. And I'm not making um, a full pattern. I'm not worrying if I, I kind of wanted it heavier at the bottom and then gradually fade towards the E. So starting with my uh, cutting out the largest rooster, I'm gonna place this at the bottom. Now remember your transfer sits on a wax paper and once this releases you want to make sure that you adhere it directly to your project. Once this releases you want to then make sure that you don't touch it with anything else until it applies down to your board. Every transfer comes with a wooden stick or you can buy this extra fancy little tool that I use as well. They're a little harder to find. They are always sold out, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but the stick works fine. And you're basically gonna rub until you can start seeing the plastic film that's on top of the image starts to release. This is time consuming, but well worth it. These images uh, almost become part of your project. They're very colorful and they're quite easy to work with. And then you wanna take a cloth and this is what we call burnish, you wanna buff it 
and make sure that every part of your image is adhered to your board. Taking my distressed triangles, I'm going back to the top and again using the dabber, um, I'm going a little bit heavier around the top and the edges and as we get close to the H, I'm letting up on the paint a little bit and not making um, full coverage. Now my board is upside down, but I wanted to make sure you had a good view of what I was doing. And then I'm just gonna hit it with a blow dryer real quick to get it nice and dry before I move forward with my transfer. So I took this whole panel and put it pretty close to the top. And again, you wanna take your stick and rub, rub, rub until your top layer of plastic releases from the image. And then you want to rub again with some cloth and make sure your image has adhered. Now going to the center, I found this show off. Uh, it's like $2.99 Hobby Lobby. Make sure you get your 40% coupon. And I decided to go with this as my O versus what was already on the stencil. It was a little larger and it was kind of the look that I wanted. So using a marker, I marked off uh, where I want to place my stencil back down. And this is just an option. This is adhesive spray that I'm getting on my stencil. You spray it on, and then you just kind of hang out for a minute and let it dry. And when you lay it down, it now becomes an adhesive stencil. This does help a lot with bleed through. Um, just make sure you have good ventilation when you're using the spray. It's just a quick spray spray. You don't want to put a lot on and you do want to make sure that you give it a few seconds to start to dry and it does become sticky. And then I just use the dabber with the Snow Owl by Wise Owl and I was very pleased. The spray adhesive worked very well and then you want to give this a good dry time. And now taking another portion of my transfer, this is more of a black and white rooster with some wording and some uh, chicken wire in black. I put it in the center of my white wreath and make sure that you rub. And then I just had a few little pieces left that I put back on the top. Now, once this all dries, I'm going to give it a day or two. I will then do a final coat of the one hour enamel and allow it to have 30 days drying time before I put it into any elements um, as everything needs the 30 days uh, to cure. And again, this transfer, along with others, can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. The board we grabbed at Lowe's. And the stencils we grabbed at Hobby Lobby. Guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.